So way back in 2015, I had a video, uh, one of my first uh, Mandela Effect videos, and it had to do with a change in the way people were acting. So it wasn't your traditional Mandela Effects, um, but at the same time, it was um, very much uh, a Mandela Effect feel of change in the air and, and the way people were acting. It just, there was something different. And that video had to do with what people would say to each other when they bumped into each other in public. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just link that video below for you so that um, in case you're interested and then I won't have to explain it here. Uh, let's get to the point of this video and it has to do with an, another change like that. It has to do with what people are saying when they're being uh, interviewed or public speaking on the radio in particular uh, or on television um, where people are being interviewed. <clears throat> um, I've noticed it a lot in sports, like sports radio type things, but in other, other radio programs as well. And it has to do with whether it's uh, someone getting interviewed off the street or if it's someone who works in that industry and they always get interviewed. There's a word that's being used. And it's a very common word, but it's the context at which it, in which it's being used. That would be the word, obviously. No, that's the word, obviously. Now, a lot of, a lot of people can rationalize, um, yeah, big deal. So you started noticing something. It's just you weren't paying enough attention before, and now you've noticed something. So now you're saying it didn't happen before, and it happens now. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the frequency in which that word is being used in the context I'm about to explain is way more common than it, I can ever remember it being. Okay, And so they're saying obviously in the context of their, their opening statement to a question. They ask a question and it says obviously blah, blah, blah. Um, an example would be about, um, I don't know, a quarterback who um, – is good in this area, but but weak in the, another area. And then the person says on the radio, it's like the the sports announcer guy, radio talk show guy, is like, now so and so quarterback. Obviously, they've had blah blah blah. So it's it's just it sounds a little superficial the way I'm coming across. I think, but for real, the word obviously. Okay, now if you're still watching this video, now I'm going to get into how the hell. Do I know confidently that this is different now from my experience in the past? See, I'm not the best at remembering packaging and labels. So there's a lot of Mandela effects or possible Mandela effects out there that I can't really or don't really, I choose not to, chime in on because I can't remember clearly enough. Uh, when man, when back in 2015 and early 2016, when Mandela Effect on YouTube was very uh, 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 few and far between, I, yeah, I was only one of the few uh, talking about it on this platform. So yeah, I was bringing up some examples. Uh, I, I, the big, huge examples, the JFK one in particular. Holy crap! But yeah, I I, I have very connected memory. Yeah, I'll speak upon it absolutely. But I was bringing uh, smaller Mandela Effect changes because there wasn't a lot of coverage at the time. And now, nowadays, there's plenty of coverage about that sort of stuff. I focus more on the, the why it's happening and how it's happening instead of the what. The what would be the examples. I've always had a, a more of an angle on the how and why. But yes, so the little packaging label changes, the spelling of certain uh, uh, um, items. It's I often don't remember it clearly enough to be confident one way or another. But when it comes to human interactions in society, yes, that is in my proverbial wheelhouse. Wheelhouse is a, a phrase that I've never heard until the last couple of years. That seems to be a shift, but, you know, wheelhouse. Never heard it until a Kobe Bryant interview a few years back. Uh, now I hear it uh, periodically. I mean, it's just one of those things where you never hear the word, and then all of a sudden, once you learn it, you hear it, like, a lot all of a sudden. Maybe that's one of those weird shifts uh, for, for some of that experience. So anyway, um, as I was as I was saying, the um, the examples of people's interactions with each other. That's where I that's where I really uh, have a good uh, a good um, ability uh, to do is to is to notice when people are acting differently to one another as a general rule. Okay, so if in the past somebody was being interviewed on the radio and they open up 
with obviously blah, blah, blah. Here's how I interpret that blah, blah, blah. They're saying it's obvious. Now, they're saying it's obvious to the listeners. Okay. The, 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 the context that I'm interpreting is that when they say obviously, and then they name the statement, the fact about the person they're talking about, or the situation, they say obviously whatever it is, when they're saying that and I'm listening to it, that is my, – my perception is that the speaker who's saying obviously is assuming all of the listeners, myself included, already know for a fact about what they're saying is obvious. But I, I don't know about this pitcher or this quarterback. I don't know it's obvious that they are coming off of a, some, I don't know, injury or whatever it is. So – I, so I guess I, I don't get mad about it. I intellectually uh, figure it out. So I take it for uh, for what it is on face value. They're saying obviously blah blah blah. So you're I'm, you're telling me. So I'm talking to the speaker in my head now. So you're telling me that I you know I know this because you're saying well it's obvious obviously. No, I didn't know anything about it. So anyway, this is a lot of words about a small thing. However. That might be this might be one of those subtle shifts that you're not going to get to uh, hear people talk about um, very often. But yeah, so pay attention to the 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 interviews you hear. It doesn't have to be just sports, but just interviews you hear people on the radio and see if they uh, are saying obviously more often than you can recall. So uh, this might be nothing, but it might be something. So there you go. I'll see you guys again soon.